hello, 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 maayong buntag, or shall I say good morning, tourists? Are you all excited for our tour? Me too! Alright, this is Margold or Migold from Louis and Cebu Travel and Tours, and I am going to be your official tour guide for today's tour. And with me is our coach captain, Coach Ken. Say hi, Coach Ken! You can always approach us if you need any help. But before we begin with our tour, I want you all to remember the word Cebu. C stands for count. Allow me to always do a head count from time to time for me to monitor if you are all around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 30. Thank you so much. E stands for explore. At Luisi and Cebu Travel and Tour, we make sure that our tourists can explore and at the same time, you will not leave trash around the destination. As we practice, clean as you go. B stands for buddy buddy system so that no one will left behind or get lost by the time we explore. U stands for understand. Please understand that COVID-19 is still present and we still need to follow the government protocols by wearing a face mask and putting alcohol to ensure everyone's safety. And at the same time, we can enjoy. And also, I have here my whistle, which if I whistle once like this, it means that tourists, your time is on and you have the opportunity to roam around our destination. But if you hear me whistle twice like this and raise my flatlet like this, it means the tourists, your time is up and you have to line up in front of our bus because we are heading to our next destination. Time check, it's already 6.30 in the morning, November 22, and the weather is 30 degrees Celsius. Please anchor your clock with mine so that no one will left behind. Welcome to our Cebu Heritage Tour and a little trip to Southern Cebu. First stop, the smallest and oldest fort in the Philippines, Fort San Pedro. Miguel Lopez de Ligaspi, one of the Cebuano heroes, originally built a triangular fort with woods. Aside from having old metal cannons and coral stone walls, this museum also houses the Spanish-era artifacts displays. Now please enjoy our first destination and take beautiful pictures and wonderful memories here at Fort San Pedro. A little trivia. This cross is considered to be the Christian's cross planted by the Portuguese and Spanish explorers headed by Ferdinand Magellan. It was planted upon their arrival in Cebu on March 15, 1521. Let's go! Last stop for our city heritage tour. It is known to be the oldest church in Cebu, Basilica Minore del Santo Nino. The church houses the image of Santo Nino, the city patron saint that represents Jesus as Black Holy Child. It is also a place for prayers and pilgrimage to a large number of people each year. Right in front of our church is a pilgrim center where novena masses are held for the annual Sinulog Festival. Enjoy and observe the Cebuano culture. I know all of you tourists are also hungry for lunch. Now, we are heading to city of Talisay. Did you know that Talisay's lechon is considered as one of the best in Cebu with its crackling skin and delectable mouth-watering meat and spices? Well, later on, you can try it to believe it. Lechon plays a very big part of Cebu's culture. No celebration is ever complete without having a lechon on the table. It's a local culinary tradition where whole pig is stuffed with fragrant mix of local herb at the belly and then slow roasted over hot coals to perfection. The first ever lechonarios of Cebu came from Talisay. Now please enjoy your lunch and happy eating! The best thing about traveling the rest of the southern towns of Cebu is a variety selection of Cebu Pasalubong food items here at city of Karkar. Karkar is famous in selling handmade footwear. What Marikina is to Manila is like what Karkar in Cebu. Karkar considered as a shoemaker capital of Cebu. You can also buy a variety of souvenirs and Pasalubong here like chicharan, ampau, or rice krispies. Now that sums up our Cebu City Heritage Tour and Southern Side Trip, we will now drop you off to our new hotel accommodation. See you again tomorrow for your Southern Trip. Make sure you're all well rested to all the water activities for tomorrow. Again, this is Migold and on behalf of Louisiana Travel and Tours, we thank you for choosing to travel with us. Bye-bye! See you tomorrow! Thank you!